Hello, welcome. Let's configure these buttons and this scroll area. This is a Canvas Pro 20, but any Huion tablet should have the same interface. So I'm assuming you already installed the driver and you turned it on. If you don't have this pen tablet icon in your taskbar, then you will have to start the driver by double clicking Huion tablet and it should appear. And it turns blue. Let's click it. All right, on the left side, it says press keys and digital pen. These are the things we can configure with keyboard keys, etc. So we can just click on these buttons to see the current configuration. This is Control S, space, right bracket, left bracket, scroll wheel, forward and backward. And then there's Control Plus, Shift Plus, Control Alt Z, and Control Alt Shift N. Most of these settings I changed. As for the digital pen, again, this is different per model, but this one has one two buttons and one is configured as space this one because when I hold it down I can scroll around and gimp and this one is right mouse button but I would have to hold it against right there we go to test this I recommend you just open notepad or some text editor and click there and then you can just start typing or rather clicking buttons and as you can see here I'm typing the brackets I'm making this video as a response to this comment so let's program backspace, left and right clicks, enter and space keys on the Canvas Pro here. By the way, this model, the same buttons are on both sides. They cannot be programmed individually. But newer models and different models of these uh, pen tablets, they have individual configurations for right and left. Just be aware of that. So let's start with this. Let's configure this one as backspace. This looks like a lot at first, but no worry. We're going to start with backspace. For this, we're just going to remove control because we want backspace, not control backspace. And we're going to clear the string. And now we're going to just click in this area and type backspace. There we go, it says backspace. So you don't actually go back. <laughs> no, no, you just press the button you want to use. And then you press OK and let's uh, apply because I don't think it works yet. Let's see, I'm clicking here and I'm pressing the button now. Nope, it still triggered Control S for save. Turns out you cannot configure these buttons unless you are in administrator mode. Another thing that happens when you are not in administrator mode, if you press the cogwheel, it crashes. Huh, so after restarting, it still doesn't work. Okay, I'm using, by the way, driver number 14.8.137.1273. Maybe a newer version will not have this weird problem. You know what, we're just going to press administrator privileges. This will require a confirmation and another one. And uh, let's hope it works now. There's no more administrator privileges button here. And let's just try this again. Clear string backspace. OK, apply. Let's test it. Now it works. Apparently you need to have admin privileges to be able to configure these. Well, good. Now we got that out of the way. Also, if you press this button, apparently the app crashes unless you are, have administrator privileges. Control Alt H, that's useful. Now oh, and you can update it from here. Very nice. Well, let's continue. Next one should be right click. So uh, we're going to remove keyboard combination keys entirely. Mouse button, mouse left button. OK, apply. And now we're just going to press the second button. I will move my mouse, but not press the mouse button on the mouse itself moving the mouse here and click yes and click and hold and move the mouse yeah it works click 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 okay no uh, whole line select in this uh, notepad okay so that works off to the next one right click easy disable keyboard enable mouse button mouse right button okay apply and to test click 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 Click, 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 click. Okay, next one is enter and space keys. Should be easy. This will be a clear string, enter, and nothing else. Let's see, custom name, my enter. That's just uh, something that appears here. Doesn't seem to be very useful. I guess you can explain what software this is for. Let's hit apply. And let's hit enter. Wait, no, this one. Well, that works. 
Perfect. Oh wait, why am I pressing backspace on my keyboard? What a waste of time, I could be pressing buttons on my tablet. Finally, let's add spacebar. So instead of control plus something, remove control, press space on the keyboard, press OK, apply. And uh, yeah, we can... Excuse me, I, I was using the keyboard just now. Here. Works perfectly on both ends. All right, I'm going to add some more. For example, Shift U. As you can see, Shift is already enabled, but you would basically do this here. Press OK, apply. And this one just types the uppercase U, as you would expect. Next one I'm going to configure as Control A. Uh, so I'm going to enable Control Combination Keys, disable Alt, clear string, type in A. OK, apply. This is just going to select uh, everything here. Control A, just like Control A on the keyboard. For the next one, I want to try something out. Let's set this one to just shift. Shift and clear string. Because on the keyboard, you can do the following. You can click somewhere, you can hold down shift, and then you click somewhere else, and you select the area between. Uh, let's see if we can do this here as well. Hold down, click. Yes, it works perfectly. Fantastic. Finally, let's configure the pen. Currently, it is configured to right mouse button and space. So, this is probably space. Yeah, I can replace... Well, oh, come on. What? Uh, I guess this is Microsoft Inc. I've never seen this before. I guess I've never used this in a note-taking application yet. So, yeah, I can just click to add spaces. The actual purpose is uh, to use it in GIMP which I mostly use for my photo editing, image editing, because it is the hold to drag, maybe in Photoshop as well. And the second button here is a right click. Hmm? GIMP has issues. GIMP certainly has issues. But here it works, I think. Yeah, here no problems. Uh, I don't know what the problems with GIMP are, unfortunately. I cannot provide a solution here. Okay, to avoid this stuff, I think all you have to do is to disable Windows Ink Apply. Yeah, it's gone. It doesn't appear anymore. I'm going to turn it back on. Didn't hurt yet. But if you want to change these things, let's change mouse right button to, for example, Control Z. And this one, Control Y. And now we can just go back and forward in time. Okay, I guess this. Okay, never mind. This notepad version doesn't quite work normally. Instead, let's just mess around in this painting a little. And now we can make timeline changes with the pen itself. Actually, it's not Control Y to redo. It's Control Shift Z to redo or undo, undo. So here we go. There we are. Not exactly how I would usually hold a pen. So we learned today how to configure the buttons on the pen tablet and on the pen. You have to remember to enable administrator and then just configure on the left and press keys and digital pen and press first the button you want to use and then press the center here where you can configure it. One more thing to look at is uh, the scroll area. This is configured to wheel forward and wheel backward and how to change them is a bit confusing. You have to actually click on this drop down menu and then click on the one you want to change. Yep, and then just change it to wheel backward and this one to wheel forward and now it will zoom in and zoom out reverse wheel forward and wheel backward and apply okay that's better so GIMP currently is configured to zoom when I use the mouse wheel without any modifying keys but control mouse wheel I'm using control mouse wheel now it changes the size of a brush now let's see if we can do this with the pen tablet. So let's assume, for example, we configure this one, this is space. Let's set this as control only. OK, apply. And now let's try to combine this. This and scroll wheel. Yes, indeed, it works. It changes the size. Or perhaps we want the scroll wheel to entirely work as control and uh, mouse wheel. Then we can try it like this. Enable keyboard combination keys, control and mouse button wheel forward and the same 
and scroll down. Now let's hope this works. It does. Control mouse wheel works and size changes. I actually expected some of these not to work. That's a pleasant surprise. Maybe a GIMP problem or maybe it was fixed in the latest version of the driver. So make sure you have the latest driver is probably a good idea. Let me know if you still have any troubles. Let me know which model of uh, tablet you have. But I hope this helped. Have fun drawing. See you next time. Ciao.